Hi there, I'm Sydney Hutchinson and I am in my fourth year at Queens and I am on the women's water polo team. Today, I'm here with Siobhan McDonald, who is a var was a varsity athlete who graduated in 2020. She was on the sailing team and she graduated with her undergrad in mechanical engineering. We're here today to talk to Siobhan about her transition from being a Queen student athlete to her current career as a junior estimator at Acon in Toronto. Hi, Siobhan. How are you? Hey, Sydney. I'm great. How are you doing? Good, thanks. All right, let's get into the first question. Tell us about yourself and the skills you learned during your time at Queen's that were transferable in your career search and in your current position. All right. Uh, well, first and foremost, I am a Nova Scotian. Uh, I spent all my childhood and middle school, high school, all sailing. Um, it's a big part of who I am and my life. And when I was thinking about universities, uh, sailing was, I shouldn't say number one, but maybe it was my priority. Uh, when I kind of chose Queens as the school I wanted to go to, the first thing I did was contact Queen Sailing, then I applied for admissions. Uh, so that kind of says a lot about myself and what sailing means to me. Um, so I joined in my first year. I did my rookie year and that was great. I had a community of people right away, which is so awesome uh, coming to Queens. I had nobody else that I knew. Um, and as I went through university, each year I got a little bit more involved in the team. Uh, you know, my second year I took on a PR role, which I'd never done before. So, you know, I was running social media. I was following up with everyone going to events. Um, so that was a big learning curve. Um, and even that little stepping stone, I started to get a little more involved in other aspects of organizations at Queens, you know, volunteering. Um, and so that was all really great experiences. I think the most important or really the most, uh, the biggest role I had that taught me the most skills was in my last year, I became the keelboat captain for the team. And that was, I loved it, but it was crazy. You know, um, I was managing the team. I was planning our events, where we we're going to go. How are we going to get there? I was always the one driving on top of that Bellington, that was school. Um, so all those experiences, um, little did I know, were really helping me build a lot of skills that would help me in the job I'm doing today. At the time, I didn't even have time to think about that. <laughs> but when it came to job searching time, uh, which we'll talk about a little bit later, all those little experiences that I had uh, gave me a really, really strong uh, application uh, to go forward. That's awesome. Yes, being an athlete for sure gives you those lots of opportunities and you don't even know what you're gaining until you kind of look <laughs> yeah. back and see all those roles that you did and what work you've done for Queens and the sailing program, for sure. Okay, let's get into talking about your career. So what first steps did you take in searching for your current role? All right, uh, well, I was super lucky when I started to apply for jobs kind of the beginning of my fourth year. I had a mentor that really, really helped me plan out which jobs I was going to apply to and how, uh, which before, I thought applying to jobs was just looking on LinkedIn and indeed clicking a button and sending my resume. Um, but my mentor actually gave me a really kind of four or five step process that literally got me the job I have today. Um, so the first thing was deciding what kind of company I wanted to work for and of course, in what industry. Um, so what I kind of had to decide was, do I want to be at a larger company you know, a little bit more resources, maybe have the opportunity to have a mentorship, a little bit flexible in what I can do, you know, maybe build my career there, try some different things. Or did I want to be at a smaller company, which is, you know, like a startup, super hands-on, usually pretty crazy hours, you know, <laughs> you show up and you just go running. Uh, right. So those were the two kind of worlds I was deciding between. And of course, um, well, I did my background in mechanical engineering and I want to become a professional engineer, which means I have to get my hours. So I was looking in the 
engineering industry, which is super broad, uh, but I was open to opportunities. Uh, so that was kind of my focus. The next step was research and pitching myself to these companies. So uh, what I mean by that is I actually had like, you know, three to four sentences that I wrote up and I edited, worked out with my mentor and, and basically was a very short synopsis of who I am, what I went to school for, and, you know, why I want to be a part of this company. You know, I would tweak it a little bit, but you can make it. So, you know, it's pretty transferable. And so now I had the companies I wanted to look for, and I started to look for connections. So is anyone at the company at Queen's alumni? Does any of them sail? You know, looking for those small little things that'll maybe give you that little bit of an in, then you have your pitch and you go from there. So I applied, applied, applied like crazy. I was looking up, you know, HR emails online for all the different companies I was interested in. And I just kept on reaching out, putting myself out there until I got a few calls back and uh, the rest is history. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> And being so open, like you were saying, um, obviously led you in a good position. And I think that's super applicable to everybody who's looking for a job um, that they have to keep all these doors open. Because you you told me before, like you didn't imagine this was going to be what you ended oh, up no. with. Right? I'm, I'm doing a civil engineer's job. <laughs> the farthest thing from that from school. Uh, but I love it. I'm learning something new every day. Mm -hmm. Right. So you were talking about you had to make that decision between, you know, a, a bigger company or a smaller. So what did you ultimately look for in um, a job? So uh, what was most important to me, uh, because I've never been a person that knows exactly what I want to do with my life. I wish I was. <laughs> uh, so I wanted I was looking at bigger companies because I wanted that flexibility. Um, you know, I maybe I want to go in doing one thing come out another position or right. you know I want the flexibility to move around a little bit work with different groups work with your clients work with partners um, I wanted a range of experiences so I could figure out what I want to do you know I wanted uh, the room to be able to do that and especially um, kind of having a mentor having room for that kind of relationship and um, Akon offered me all of that you know I've been here for a year and I've kind of had my feet in every little aspect of the job and they're going to let me kind of decide what avenue I actually want to take going forward, which uh, I think is really huge. And I didn't That's even awesome. think that that could happen. Right. Um, so what led to your success in landing this current role at Akon? Uh, definitely two things. Uh, <laughs> so one was kind of having that four or five step process that I learned. Um, that was just, especially applying in a pandemic, it was hard and it was a lot of work and it felt really good to rely on a process and a plan um, instead of, you know, just having a million resumes out to a million different places and, you know, uh, not really knowing what's gonna happen and just waiting. Um, and the second was actually being an athlete. Um, I found that in most places that actually contacted me back and we had great conversations, a lot of it tied back to my experiences as an athlete. Mm -hmm. uh, one, because, you know, I think people, especially who have been athletes in the past, understand how crazy the work athlete balance is in school, practices, midterms, eating, sleeping. <laughs> it's right. a lot to coordinate all at once. And um, especially working in a team, like what a great experience, you know, in a job, you're going to be working in a team, you know, probably for the rest of your life, unless you're like a coder or someone that works on their own right. um, management, team building, all of these things are so, so useful. And uh, companies recognize that they really mm -hmm. do. And, you know, I was I was told that the strongest part of my application was talking about my experiences at Queen Sailing and growing up a sailor and how that kind of built me into who I am, um, which is really cool. I never thought I would hear that before. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Being an athlete is a huge job and you learn so much <laughs> like we talked about before. And 
I'm excited to see where I go. And, you know, this talk will be helpful to a bunch of other people. So yeah. last question is, how do athletics play a role in your life now? Uh, so just because I graduated Queens definitely didn't mean <laughs> I stopped being an athlete. Uh, I still sail uh, most weekends, most evenings. And actually at work, I, I'm still an athlete sometimes. My team is, you know, um, one big thing my team does is every year there's an annual um, kind of bike marathon that everybody does. It's a fundraiser for cancer and everyone on my team is super into it. They all have the apps, we track each other. Um, even though it's virtual, you know, they still manage to do it, which is mm -hmm. so awesome to have that kind of still competitive team bonding side. And even when I'm out sailing, my team wants to know, like, what was I doing on the weekend? Where was I competing? can I come next time? It's, uh, it's still such a really big part of my life. And I hope it will always continue to be because I'm still, I'm still getting new opportunities uh, sailing, you know, like, I love Akon, but who knows, you know, I can meet somebody the other day and the networking just never stops. Right. You keep opening doors and you'll see where you end up. Totally. Yeah. Thanks so much for talking with me today, Siobhan. You're so awesome. And I think this conversation will really help um, current students at Queens or um, Queens alumni and their job search that continues um, to go on. Um, thanks so much for meeting with me, Siobhan. Yeah, thank you.